across America, thousands of Volkswagen diesel owners are relinquishing their keys to dealers in exchange for generous buyback checks. Where will they spend that money? If their whole ordeal hasn't turned them off to diesels entirely, and that's a big if General Motors is hoping to divert some of that cash its way, with the rollout of its new, 100% EPA compliant turbo diesel engine. The 137 horsepower turbocharged 1.6 liter inland fur is available now in the compact Chevrolet Cruze sedan and soon will be offered in the Cruze hatchback as well as in the Chevy Equinox and GMC Terrain crossovers. It's part of an exclusive club, being one of only six light jetty diesel engines certified by the EPA for the 2017 model year. In a class of one, with those Volkswagen Golf, Jetta, and Passat TDIs now banished, the Cruze is the only 2017 model year, sub dollar 30 000 diesel passenger car for sale today. However, new 2015 VW Passats are recently legal once again. You have to go several rungs up the price ladder to find other diesel options, such as the Jaguix and the BMW 3 Series, which carry base prices at least $10,000 dearer than the little Chevrolet. Of course, the Cruze is no 3 Series, but its high-touch diesel engine also comes at a significant price premium. The diesel is available only in one trim level, starting at $24,670 with a 6-speed manual transmission which is $2,950 more than an equivalent gasoline-powered cruise LT sedan. Incidentally, that price is smack dab in the middle of the range of what VW estimates it will pay owners to buy back a 2015 Jetta TDI sedan. The optional 9-speed automatic transmission $1,600 and $1,125 leather seating package bundled with a heated steering wheel drove our test cars total to $27,395. Puts up big numbers, the 9-speed gearbox is an impressive unit, serving up smooth and seamless shifts and effectively allocating the 240 lbft of torque. Despite an 18% reduction in displacement compared with the previous generation Cruises 2.0-litre diesel, the new car hits 60 miles per hour in an identical 8.0 seconds that's only 0.4 second behind the performance of the gas model's turbocharged 1.4-litre. The diesel's aluminium engine block, along with general weight reduction in the new model, helps it drop 364 pounds versus the last diesel-powered cruise. Road holding and braking improve, too, with our car returning a respectable 0.84 grams of grip and a 167-foot stop from 70 miles per hour. The new engine also is quieter than before, making itself known only upon cold startup. Once it's warmed up, there's little to no hint of diesel clutter. Naturally, fuel economy is a crucial metric. It's up, according to both the EPA and our tests. The government rates it at 37 miles per gallon combined, a 5 miles per gallon bump from the previous cruise diesel, with either transmission, and our overall average matched that impressive number. In our real world, 75 miles per hour highway loop, the cruise achieved a remarkable 52 miles per gallon, 6 miles per gallon better than a Toyota Prius and about 10% better than the EPA's 47 miles per gallon highway rating. If it's similarly overachieving, the manual cruise diesel might do better still, given its 52 miles per gallon EPA highway rating. Long all drivers take note, 700 mile stints between Phillips are definitely within reach. Elusive VW appeal, the Chevrolet's numbers, then, leave no doubt that it's capable of taking the diesel baton from Volkswagen. Unfortunately, the cruise does a less convincing VW impression in other regards. It offers a commendable ride and handling balance, but it lacks the precisely tuned damping, sharp on center steering feel, and overall solidity that make VW Golfs and Jettas so satisfying to drive. The Chevy's cabin, though vastly improved over GM's small car interiors of yore, also lags behind VW's impeccable interior quality. GM's newest diesel engine is an undeniably impressive engineering achievement delivering solid performance and chart-topping efficiency while fully complying with federal emissions regulations.
but its appeal is limited by the middle of the pack compact sedan in which it's installed. Chevrolet may lure a few less discerning TDI owners with the cruise diesel's stellar fuel economy, but we note that the appeal of Volkswagen's TDIs went beyond their powertrains.